Have you ever found yourself randomly obsessed with something insignificant that has zero impact on your life, but you can't just get out of your head? For me, that insignificant thing has been a bug in a 24-year-old game that I have never once played in my life. Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium is a bit different. Unlike the mainline Pokemon games, there are none of the role-playing elements you'd associate with the series. No mom, no naming your rival something derogatory, and no running around catching Pokemon. However, there's something special about Pokemon Stadium, or rather, with Pokemon Stadium. Bundled with the game was a peripheral called the Transfer Pack, which would plug into your controller and had a slot for inserting a Game Boy or Game Boy Color cartridge. The Transfer Pack gives you access to the Pokelab and the GB Tower, with the former letting you transfer Pokemon back and forth between the inserted Game Boy game and Pokemon Stadium, and the latter being a full-on emulator for Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Despite this, there's another, darker side to the Transfer Pack. I first caught a glimpse in Episode 8 of a Pokemon Red playthrough by the Let's Play channel Oni Plays. Five episodes earlier, they had caught a Nidoran and named it Lil Stank. Keep that name in mind. Now, midway through Episode 8, they take a break, restart the N64, and load up Pokemon Stadium in the GP Tower again. Everything seems normal, but in their first encounter, it's immediately obvious that something has changed. Do you see it? Lil Stank has just become Lil. Lil? What? What? Lil? What? Um... Lil Stanko! Did, uh, does Pokemon Stadium fuck up your names if there's a space in it? That is the question that I've been wanting to answer. And honestly, it's not that serious. I just thought it'd be cool to dig into old code. I'm gonna be using two emulators to try and recreate the bug, Project 64 and MGBA. MGBA runs natively on Linux, and Project 64 is a popular input plugin that can emulate the transfer pack. So we load up Pokemon Red, pick a starter Pokemon, and go through the intro sequence. Then we pick up a few extra Pokemon, making sure to include spaces in their names. I believe that when we load Pokemon right up in the GB Tower, save, and then restart, we should see these names get truncated down to wherever the space was in their name. So let's try it. Let's open Project 64, set the transfer pack to load Pokemon Red with the save file we just created, and load it up in GB Tower. So, here's the first issue. We are running an emulator, in an emulator, through a compatibility layer. So I'm not sure why I expected this to work. According to random comments on GitHub issues for Project 64, some people seem to be able to get the GB Tower to work, but only barely. I tried changing some settings in Project 64 that people suggested, but absolutely nothing worked. It never loads the GB Tower correctly. So, we can't use the GB Tower. But let's not give up too fast. The Game Boy Tower isn't the only feature in Pokemon Stadium that lets you load from your Pokemon Red save file. There's also the Pokemon Lab. So I tried transferring some of my Pokemon into Pokemon Stadium and then transferring them back to my Pokemon Red box. After loading up Pokemon Red, we see that all the Pokemon names have been truncated down to where the first base was, just like we wanted to see. It's a bit annoying that we can't recreate the bug using the GB Tower since emulators don't seem to support it yet, but we have found an easy way to reproduce it. What is interesting is that the names show up totally fine in Pokemon Stadium after this. Okay, so here's what we know. Pokemon Stadium reads names from the Pokemon Red save file to display in the Pokemon Lab. Pokemon Stadium then writes Pokemon data back to the save file when you make changes in the Pokemon Lab. When writing Pokemon data, names with spaces in them get corrupted in such a way that Pokemon Red can't display past the first space, but that Pokemon Stadium can display them. If we could just see the code for Pokemon Stadium, we'd be able to find any areas that are related to loading and saving Pokemon. But we don't have to comb through the whole ROM file. People smarter than me have started to reverse engineer the ROM file so that we can see a recreation of the original source code. Searching the repo shows some functions related to transferring data from the transfer pack, but nothing about specifically loading Pokemon names. Just generic file IO. However, there are two labeled areas of memory called Charmap and Inverse Charmap. When I found these, it immediately set off my programmer instincts. Here's why. 
Pokemon names are stored differently depending on what game they're in. In Pokemon Stadium, it uses an ASCII-like encoding to store the names, but Pokemon Red uses a different character encoding that I've never seen before, so it's probably just unique to the Pokemon games. At some point, Pokemon Stadium must be converting between these two different encodings, and I think that Charmap and Inverse Charmap are part of that process. This is probably how it works. Each character that's read from the Pokemon Red save file has its number value added to the memory address of Charmap, and whatever value is at that location is the same character we started with, but in Pokemon Stadium's encoding. When we save data back to Pokemon Red, it's the same process, but you swap out Inverse Charmap for Charmap. So what happens when we take a space character and that gets loaded and saved? In the Gen 1 encoding, a space is represented by the hexadecimal value 7f. Adding that to the address of the char map gets us to the hexadecimal value 20, which is a space in ASCII. So that seems pretty normal. When saving back to Pokemon Red through the transfer pack, we add the hexadecimal value 20 to the address of the inverse char map, and at that location is the value 0. Shouldn't the value 7f be here? if we wanted spaces to get mapped back and forth correctly? In Pokemon Red, zero wasn't used as a display character. According to the wiki, it's used to represent a null value or sometimes a delimiter. If we use a small Python script I wrote to print out our Pokemon names, we can see that our Pokemon names do in fact now have a zero where a 7f should be, but the rest of the name still exists. The Pokemon Red display subroutines just must not be able to display a null character or anything after it. Any null value in our Pokemon's names just gets mapped to a space when Pokemon Stadium reads it. So let's fix the inverse char map by putting a 7f in the right place and loading up an older version of our Pokemon Red save to see if the same thing happens. Those of you who have done any ROM hacking might already know why this didn't work. At the start of any Nintendo 64 ROM, there's a value called a checksum, which is used to make sure your ROM file hasn't been modified in any way. This value is calculated from the contents of the ROM, and any time the contents change, so should the checksum. Since we modified the ROM, the existing checksum is now wrong. Thankfully, we can use this tool I found called the Real N64 CRC tool to recalculate and update the checksum in our new version of the game. Now, it successfully loads, and we can get back to testing our change by swapping Pokemon around in the Pokemon Lab. While we have shown that we can fix the bug, there is one final question that I have after doing all this. We had to use the Pokemon Lab to reproduce this bug because the GB Tower didn't work in emulators, but why would the GB Tower even cause this bug to happen? The GB Tower is just an emulator, and Pokemon Red can save without any need for the Char Map and Inverse Char Map. To investigate this further, I went to my local game store to find a copy of Pokemon Stadium. Thankfully they had two, but it wasn't just as simple as buying a copy. Something interesting I found out while digging through ROM files of Pokemon Stadium is that this bug only exists in the first release version. The first and second revisions released in North America fix the issue with the inverse char map so that spaces get saved back to Pokemon Red correctly. You can tell what version of Pokemon Stadium you have by the numbers stamped onto the sticker on the back. According to some folks on Reddit, if it's a number followed by an A, it's 1.1. If it's a number followed by B, it's 1.2. And if it's just a number, it's revision 1.0. The first cartridge had 07A stamped into it, so I knew it wasn't what I was looking for. The second cartridge was almost entirely obscured with stickers, and since I wasn't about to start cleaning it with a bottle of isopropyl alcohol in the middle of the store, it was a mystery if I was getting the right version. I figured I'd take my chances, and 39.99 later, I was the proud owner of the mystery cartridge. After about 30 minutes of scrubbing at the cartridge with isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips, I was able to scrape back the sticker on the back to see the stamped in numbers. And to my surprise, it was just two numbers. I had won the gamble. Now we can test and see if the GB Tower is actually responsible for truncating names. I had to buy a new Nintendo 64 controller since my old controller has bad electrical connections with the transfer pack, but the new one seems to have good connection. After collecting a few Pokemon, giving them nicknames with spaces, and saving in a Pokemon Center, we can see that nothing has happened at all. Just to make sure that this cartridge is in fact capable of even reproducing the bug, I tried using the Pokemon Lab method, and we see in fact it does truncate the names. So what happened to Oni Plays? I went back and watched the episodes again, and realized that I was just an idiot and wasn't paying attention. If we compare the party members they had before and after restarting the recording, we can see that there's a whole new Pokemon, a level 5 Charmander. At the beginning of this playthrough, they had chosen Bulbasaur as their starter, so it seems that during the break, they had transferred new Pokemon into their game, triggering the bug in a similar way we did. 
So while it was a bit disorganized, I think we can finally say we know what causes this bug that truncates names to the first space. Oniplays was using the first revision of Pokemon Stadium to play Pokemon Red with the transfer pack, and because this version has faulty logic for converting between the character encoding in Pokemon Red and the character encoding in Pokemon Stadium, the spaces in Pokemon names got replaced with null values. Pokemon Red's display routines don't display Pokemon names past a null character, so the effect is that it appears your Pokemon names has been truncated, when in reality, the whole name is still in the save file, but the spaces are now just nulls. And with that, that's all I have to say about Pokemon Stadium for now. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my journey figuring this shit out, and I hope that I get to make more videos about retro hardware and stuff from the future. I have a few more projects in the works that I'm hoping to show off, but this video definitely took a big chunk of time since I work full time and this project was pretty on and off over the past month. But thanks for watching.